Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I wanted to talk to you about my grandpa that passed away um, a few years back. And But before I do, before I get into his testimony of what actually happened before he died, um, I want to encourage you, like always, to go down to the comment section because in the comment section, I have a long comment with evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read the evidence and please spread the evidence. You can print it out, give it to people, or you can copy and paste it on social media, or you can do both. Also, in the description box of my videos, I have a message about end times fulfilled Bible prophecy and the coming events that will soon take place. So check that out as well. And also um, about my grandpa, before I get into the full testimony, um, I made a video. Um, it was titled Family Members in Hell Testimony. One of the people that I saw in this, in this testimony I shared on my channel is that one of the people was actually my grandpa that it was revealed to me that he was not with the Lord. Now, getting on to what I wanted to share about my grandpa, I mean, he died about two years ago at the age of 87 years old. And, and to get back from his early life, my grandpa was an orphan from a very young age. So, yeah, he lived a very hard life, to say the least. And he lived a hard life. And I guess that was one of the reasons that he he never really believed in God because of the hard life he lived. I guess he had a grudge towards God that that he was an orphan and, and what he went through. And, and for some reason, my grandpa has been, he was on my mind recently, and I thought I should make a video about him. As you saw in the family members in hell testimony, it was revealed to me that my grandpa was one of the people that didn't make it. He wasn't with the Lord. It was revealed to me there. And I sh I, I'll include a link to that testimony in the description box. So like I said, my grandpa was 87. Now, now that I remember when he was on his deathbed, um, I was an atheist too at that time. I didn't believe in God, right? And neither did my grandpa. But I asked him, I'm like, do you believe in God? And he said, no, I don't believe in God. And he, and on top of that, he said, even if God exists, I won't believe in him. And that's, my grandpa told me that. And, and at that point, I guess he was so mad at God because he had a stroke and he couldn't walk. He was at, at the age of 87 when he died. Um, he was in such a, like a horrible physical condition that like all the grudge he had towards God during his early life. I mean, when he had that stroke and, and all that happened to him, I mean, even at the age of 87, my grandpa was so strong. I mean, he had this natural born strength that he could, he could work, he could do physical labor. But when he had that stroke, all his strength, just like, it's like all his strength, strength vanished. He couldn't walk. He couldn't do anything. He was just lying there and I guess his grudge toward God just grew at that period of his life when he was on his deathbed and like I said when he said I won't believe in God even he, if he exists I mean I was an atheist too and when he said that I just for some reason I felt so good inside and now that I know now that I'm a Christian now that I have the discernment I know that the the feeling of of well-being I felt when my grandpa said he doesn't believe in God that was just the demons putting um, putting that feeling on my spirit. So so they were giving me that good feeling. And that's not the only time. I mean, when other people have told me they don't believe in God as an atheist, that just made me feel good for some reason. And now, like I said, the discernment that I have, I know that was just coming from the enemy that it was making you feel good. Um, if you're watching this and you're an atheist, I'm sure you can relate. I mean, when other people tell you that God doesn't exist or God is not real. I'm sure you you feel some of what I felt. And like I said, my grandpa has been has been on my mind recently and it just it just sad to what happened because God gave him 87 years. God gave him 87 years of life to be saved and my grandpa didn't take the opportunity and he worked hard for it. he worked hard his whole life and he had this like this natural strength, but near the end of his life, all that strength was taken away from him. And I mean, when my grandpa was on his deathbed, he could have turned to God even on his deathbed and he could have confessed his sins. He could have um, proclaimed his belief in God, but he didn't even take that opportunity. And I just, I just feel bad about what happened because, because if I was a Christian back then, I could have, I could have done something to, bring my grandpa to Christ, but I was an atheist and 
now that I just I just feel guilty, I guess, now of what happened. And it breaks my heart. It, it truly breaks my heart that when I when it was revealed to me that my grandpa's not with God, it, it breaks my heart. And like I said, I've been thinking about it recently, but please don't make the same mistake my grandpa made. God gave my grandpa 87 years, 87 years. I don't know how much life God's going to give you, but I beg you, I beg you, get saved today. We're not guaranteed a tomorrow. Over 150,000 people die every day. Every single day, over 150,000 people die. And you can be one of those people. I'm calling you. I'm begging you. I'm asking you. We are not guaranteed another day. We all could. I could die tomorrow. You could die tomorrow. And if you're not saved, if you're not covered with the blood of Christ, it's it, after your death, it's just going to get worse. I've uploaded a... I've uploaded a couple of hell testimonies on my channel. I'll include a link to those in the description. And I don't say this out of out of trying to make you feel scared. I say this because I care for you. I want you to go to the kingdom of heaven. I want you to be saved. And since I've seen God through visions, I know he's real. Since I've seen demons, I know he's real. I know the demons are real. And I know the devil is real. On my channel, I, I uploaded many testimonies you can check those out and and i've had out of body experience too so i know when the soul dies when a person dies the soul does not stay in the body the soul leaves the body i know the afterlife is real there has been scientific there's scientific evidence for afterlife for the afterlife if even even people that have died and came back they they testify that it's real. Even Muslims that have died and came back, they say Christianity is true. They say Jesus is the way, Jesus is the light. You don't see people saying they died and they met Allah or Muhammad or Buddha. What we see is that the people, people that have died, whether they were atheist, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, when they came back and God gave them another chance, they became Christian. They claim that Christianity is true because they were saved from hell through Jesus Christ. And if you're not a Christian, I encourage you, like I said, in the comment section of all my videos, I have a long evidence for Christianity. Please check that out. Please read that. Please pray about the matter. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys.